The deep hum of the HMSS Titan's engines vibrated through my bones as I manned my station. Earth's mightiest battleship, the pinnacle of human engineering, carried us toward our destiny. I, Gunner Trevor Whitman, sat ready at the main cannon controls, my fingers twitching with anticipation. Dropping out of FTL in three, two, one. Reality warped around us as we tore back into normal space. The view screens flickered to life, revealing a sight that made my breath catch in my throat. Before us stretched the Ravager armada thousands of alien vessels, their jet black hulls gleaming against the star speckled void. My God, someone whispered. Our fleet, impressive as it was, looked like minnows before a school of sharks. The Ravagers had earned their name, leaving a trail of devastation across the galaxy. Now they had Earth in their sights. Captain Reyes' voice crackled over the calm, steady people. We knew the odds, but humanity doesn't go down without a fight. I gripped my controls tighter, fear and determination warring within me. The weight of our mission pressed down on my shoulders. As main gunner on humanity's greatest warship, I knew my role could be pivotal in the coming conflict. Looking out at the vast enemy fleet, I couldn't help but wonder if this would be the day that defined our species. Whatever happened next, I was ready to give everything to defend Earth and show these ravagers what humans were made of. The bridge fell silent as we all prepared for Captain Reyes' next order. The tension was palpable, but there was also a sense of grim resolve. We might be outnumbered, but we weren't outgunned not with the Titan's main cannon at our disposal. I took a deep breath, centering myself. Years of training had prepared me for this moment. As my fingers hovered over the firing controls, I silently vowed to make every shot count. Gunner Whitman Captain Rea's voice was calm, belying the tension that must be coursing through her. Prepare to fire a warning shot. Let's see if we can avoid bloodshed. I. Captain I responded, my training taking over. I targeted empty space near the Ravager flagship, a behemoth that dwarfed even our Titan. My finger hovered over the trigger, steady despite the adrenaline pumping through my veins. Fire. I squeezed, feeling the familiar resistance. In that split second, a message flashed across my console target lock, engaged anomaly detected. Before I could process it, the Titan shuddered as our main cannon discharged. I watched in disbelief as the energy beam lanced not past, but directly toward the Ravager flagship. Time seemed to slow. The beam struck home and for a moment, nothing happened. Then, like a miniature sun igniting, the alien vessel erupted. Explosions chained across its hull, ripping it apart from within. Stunned silence gripped our bridge. The mightiest ship of the Ravager fleet was nothing more than expanding debris and fading fire. What the hell just happened, I muttered, more to myself than anyone else. My hands shook slightly as I pulled them away from the controls. Captain Reyes' voice cut through the silence. Whitman, report. What did you do? I, I fired the warning shot as ordered. Captain, I stammered, still trying to process what I'd seen. But the targeting system, it adjusted at the last second. I couldn't stop it. As the implications of what had just occurred began to sink in, a mix of emotions washed over me shock, fear, and a small, guilty spark of triumph. We'd just dealt a devastating blow to an enemy that had terrorized the galaxy. But as the burning wreckage of the Ravager flagship drifted across our view screens, one question loomed large in my mind. How would the rest of the Ravager fleet respond to this unexpected act of aggression? Alarms blared across the Titan as we braced for the Ravager's retaliation. I sat rigid at my station, unable to tear my eyes from the destruction I'd unwittingly wrought. My finger hovered near the firing control, ready for the order to unleash hell. But the expected barrage never came. Captain, our sensor officer called out, disbelief in her voice. The Ravager fleet. They're scattering. Sure enough, the alien armada was breaking formation. Ships vanished into FTL jumps by the dozens, then hundreds. Captain Reyes let out a sharp laugh. Well, I'll be damned. Seems our warning shot was more effective than we could have hoped. As the reality of our victory sank in, cheers erupted across the bridge. We'd done it. Humanity had stood against the cosmic bully and through a mixture of luck and technological superiority, emerged victorious. 
I slumped back in my chair, relief washing over me. Holy shit, I breathed, the adrenaline slowly ebbing from my system. Captain Reyes approached my station, a wry smile on her face. Gunner Whitman, I'd say you've earned yourself a commendation, even if it was an accident. Thank you, Captain, I replied, still dazed. But what exactly happened? We'll need to analyze the data, but it seems our targeting systems detected a critical weakness in the Ravager flagship's design one that their overconfidence had left exposed. In our darkest hour, human ingenuity tipped the scales. As the rest of the crew celebrated around me, I couldn't shake the feeling that this was just the beginning. We'd shown the galaxy that humanity was a force to be reckoned with. Looking out at the stars, I realized that everything had changed. Our warning shot had altered the course of history, and humanity's place in the cosmos would never be the same. As we prepared to return home with news of our unlikely victory, one thought kept running through my mind sometimes. All it takes is a warning shot to change the fate of an entire species. Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you loved it. Please remember to subscribe if you did like it so you can see more videos like this. And please give us a like and a comment too. I'll see you in the next one.